welcome to our vlog. Now we notice in the background it's pouring again. We're in that season, it's June. And this is Project Stang. Well, now that I've got the motor hooked up, I got the drive shaft hooked up, I've taken care of the fuel line, I've taken care of the brake lines. Um, now I'm back to the exhaust again because the exhaust system had rusted out um, over the period of time that this had been sitting. So it was time to uh, replace the muffler. Well, I had a buddy of mine at work who's got a 2014 GT. And he decided to upgrade his exhaust system. And of course, the GTs have two mufflers. So he offered me the uh, the original mufflers off of that. So I said, sure, why not? I gotta buy mufflers anyway. And I know it has a real cool sound just as a, you know, off the showroom floor sound. So I decided, well, um, they're over they're oversized mufflers for the uh, 3.8 or V6. So I'm going to adapt one of them to my exhaust system and we will see how well that sounds. Now to do that, I'm, right now I'm just going to go ahead and leave the, the stock chrome tip on here and then I'm just going to bolt it up and it's going to be back behind the, the axle for the time being. Now on the front side, I had to I had to chop off the the actual adapter because these are pretty cool. They got um, they got locking slide locking um, clamps. So all you got to do is just slide the clamp a lot uh, around this, and it'll pull pull it both to, pull it together. And then you uh, use the nut to lock it completely. Well, you've got a right, you've got a right, right main and a left main. So at this point, I'm using the right main or the left main, the left main to do what I wanna want to do. And I've cut the, I've cut that off. Now that is a two and a half, two and a half inch pipe. And you need a, it's exactly two and a half. So you're gonna need the adapter to go over the top of that. And then I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be weld it all the way around and it'll be permanent. Um, in fact, you can, cause I've got enough, I've got enough on here that I can actually just use a clamp for now. But this is a, this is a two inch ID, which is this one here going on to the two inch pipe coming out of my catalytic converters going into a two and a half. Now I'm not sure how the back pressure is going to affect being a uh, uh, being that big. I may have to I may have to cut it down and uh, I may have to cut down the rever uh, the uh, outside of the muffler. So you don't have as much um, flow, but uh, if you get if you get glass packs, you got it's, it's almost a straight straight through through anyway. So I'm waiting to see how the uh, O2 sensors take this on. May not be an issue at all. Don't know, um, but uh, you need an adapter, a uh, a reducer. Actually, it's going to be an increaser. To go over the top of the of the two and a half, so it's going to be like two. It's two and a half, maybe two and five eighths. I don't know, um, but this is already an ID, which means the inner side is two and a half, and it's going to be the Zach. When I go, in, all I got to do is match it up, make sure it slides on top of this, uh, nice and tight. And I know it'll slide over the top of that nice and tight. So, there we go. We will see how this turns out. I'm excited. I want to. I want to see how this thing actually sounds. Because um, you can put dual dual exhaust with uh, 
the standard uh, the standard mufflers uh, that are actually designed for it or try um, just the larger single muffler. Okay, we'll first thing I've got to do is now that I've cut the the rece uh, receiving end or the in inlet off of the original because it is a it's got a special hookup which is fantastic. You just slide the clamp along it and lock it down and then put a nut on it. That's the original. So what I've got to do now is the original pipes coming out of the V6 is a two inch. So this one here is actually a two and a half. So I've got to resize it. And I was going to go over the top of it, but because it's got a slight um, right rightward curving, um, I've got to shave this down so it comes flush and straight. So once this goes on here, it's flush now, it's all right on it. But as you can see, it's got a little bit of a, a right, right angle to it. So what I need to do is shave it down a little bit to make it straight. I'll be doing that with a grinder. All right, there we go. Grinded that down. Looks pretty, pretty level to me. Let me get that lined right up. And now I'm gonna make sure all your little edges are clean. So when you go to weld it, it'll uh, it'll spark nice and clean. Get a nice bead. So there we go. All right. I'm sure that. This is going to slide right over the top, right over the top of this one. Once I get the, once I get the muffler on, I'm going to be messing around. I'm not able to get it in there, so I think I got some rough edges. Use a little, use a hammer and work your way around it. You'll get it flush enough to line that puppy right up. Next thing is weld it onto the. Let's get a welding on to the muffler.
guys that. All right, there we go. I like that. I'm not even gonna grind it. Grind it down. It's good to me.